Hello my soccer universe. Well, for Independence Day I showed you one US jersey and all the two others that I have. The collection was small so it was just a collection video. Now it's a from the collection video for Bastille Day because my French national team collection is large enough to make it a worthwhile video. I have a total of nine France national team jerseys, a uh, tendency increasing, I would actually say. And it's weird enough because usually for national teams, I hold back, uh, you know, if I reach like four or five, it's usually, usually enough, but French national team jerseys are really, really nice most of the time. They're some of the most wonderful jerseys recently released. So for me, they are very collectible in that sense. And of course, I don't dislike the French national team one bit. In fact, I mostly support them unless they play, of course, against a team that's maybe more supported by me and, you know, my usual teams there. So what I'm going to do now is I show you all my French national team jerseys. We'll hang them up in the background then as well. I will have to switch once because this one will have to go up as well at, at, at my point, but I will do it in a very particular order. I will do it in the order that I have added them to my collection. Uh, however, there, there are also two caveats in there, but I think it will make it good. So it's slightly chronologically, but there are a few older jerseys that I got at a later point. And we're going to start this video with my first French jersey and when I got that one, I thought it's the most wonderful, most beautiful jersey that has ever been released. Talking, of course, the one for the 96 euros in England. Um, the drawstrings immediately pulled me in. But weirdly enough, what annoys me now about this one is, is actually what I like. This uh, stripe, the flag stripe kind of uh, Adidas stripe coming over the shoulders. I really, really love that one. Add to it the golden rooster and then the Jacquard pattern in there with all the French national team crests over and over and over. It's a stunning shirt, I have to say. I really like the color. Uh, maybe nowadays, uh, if I would say what, what would it take away, I probably would leave it all um, uh, blue and not have those white things coming over the shoulder. But hey, the, it was the 90s. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the first jerseys that I ever got. So there you go. Now, the next time I bought the France jersey was four years later. And it was so cool because I had just recently been in France. I picked up at a store a catalog and I ordered a jersey. And while I could have gotten the jersey back then in Austria as well, not with the name set. And which one is it? Of course, yeah, Zidane this wonderful 2000 jersey um yes it's better than a 96 one because it's way more classy it has the three stripes with the flag within which is really really nice uh when i originally got it, it didn't have the front number the one thing i would would improve you see here there's a french flag under the collar why didn't you put it on the collar as i said on the back it is sedan now this here is a reworked version because of course i was wearing this jersey a whole lot um, and of course, when you wash it, the uh, number gets off and there is a whole video on that, um, that I had then Andy help me get it to a friend of his to restore the jersey uh, with the print and then the Zidane let lettering, which is very nicely done. One bone of contention, it actually bugs me a little bit, the end did not have such a, a thin stripe here, but you know. It's a restored jersey, it's a Zidane jersey, it's my museum piece for now and it's probably my most priced France jersey, I gotta say. For the next one, we're staying with Zidane and this is one, uh, a caveat jersey. We are talking, of course, the 2006 away jersey, one of the most famous shirts in World Cup history, bar none. Not only was Zidane brilliant wearing this against Brazil, he of course also wore it in the World Cup final where he got sent off after the head, but um, now, this version I got actually um, uh, around Christmas uh, this uh, last year, this particular shirt. However, after the World Cup, I bought one in Zidane. Of course, it turned out to be a fake. That's why I'm saying it's kind of in spirit. It's my third one, uh, when in reality, it's probably one of the last ones that I've added to the collection. 
However, I feel uh, it, this, it, this is rightful place. My buddy Dries from Amudi Mayo uh, found this one for me uh, on a local seller. Uh, it is an XL, it is an ori original. Yes, the lettering is, uh, let's say, a bit fragile, so this will remain a museum piece. It's an iconic jersey, a jersey that I really, really want to have an orig original of. I never thought I will, I, I will get this for a decent price. And I think it is found it for a very reasonable price. Nice. Two Zidans. Probably, I would argue, the two most iconic Zidans. Although, you know, he scored two goals in the World Cup final. But I think he was best in the France national team jersey wearing those two. The one at the Euro 2000 and this one. After Euro... 2000, of course, darkness fell over the French team, as one might want to say. And they had some really horrible tournaments afterwards. However, this did not prevent Adidas, especially in the last effort to produce a Stone Cold Classic. And a shirt that I am very, very happy to own. I remember I saw this on Classic Football shirts while I was living in America. It was one of my two favorite jerseys from that particular World Cup. The other one won the, won the World Cup. The Spain away jersey, but this France away jersey is just gorgeous. Uh, I have it in addition in a long sleeve player spec version. But uh, it also has now the new cockerel crest. I actually, I never mind it. I always thought the lines on these are very interesting. The only thing that is uh, for me a bone of contention is the, fr the rooster has been looking towards the right side of the chest forever. Here they switch it to, to the left. As soon as I switched it back, the French national team got better. With this wonderful, wonderful jersey, the pinstriping, which goes very much back to 1982, uh, the 1982 jerseys, which of course is an even better, better jersey. It's a blank, there's no name, names that are uh, the stripes are nicely taped. It's, it's a really, really nice shirt and one that I am very pleased to have. Come 2018, I really like the jersey. I talked myself into it and on top of it, I found it ahead of the tournament for half price or almost half price. And it's still one of those things where I bought a jersey ahead of the tournament. It worked like a charm. This was the only jersey I got ahead of the World Cup. Yep, it went all the way. Uh, this is of course the rep replica version with a very weird, I mean, one button here makes not much sense, but I really like that the navy and then uh, the light blue up top. Uh, in the replica version, the blue is much more subdued than it is on the actual match version, which is much, much more uh, vibrant uh, blue. Which is interesting, and I actually wouldn't mind uh, getting them uh, a match, uh, a weapon knit version of that, 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 that was a well, but you know. It's an XL, but the one thing that really, really, really got, got me the new Federation crest that they use on the jersey. Old style, and I have said it before, this wonderful, it's nicely chain stitched pattern. There is so much depth to, to this logo, but I really love this. This, the way they do the feathers, it's an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous logo, which has been on there ever since, and it should never leave. Let me be clear, it should never leave. Uh, I got it as a blank. I really liked that we had the French flag on there as well. So finally a French flag back. It's a really, really good looking jersey. Is it as good as the 2014 one? In my opinion, not, but it's more iconic. Uh, when I started this channel, this was my France collection. And even before I got this uh, 2018 shirt, there was of course one shirt that I thought this is the one that's missing to have this collection kind of a little bit more complete. You can guess which one. It's of course the 98 jersey. The winning world, the first World Cup won in this particular jersey. I, uh, I knew that my brother Wolfgang had this jersey. <laughs> then come, I think. I think I want to say around 2020, 2019, 2020, around Christmas, uh, he not 2020, 2020, he was about to have his first child and they were clearing out space and he offered a bunch of football shirts to me and this one was the standard item. Uh, a shirt that I've been after for a long while and I knew it will cost me a lot of money to get it. Um, <laughs> and then he asks, hey, but do you want this? Yeah, how much? I give them to you. 
Thank you, Wolfgang. This was one of the greatest presents ever because I would have paid considerable amounts. Get, get, get this one for free. Yes, it's an M, but it's a really, it's an iconic shirt. I have to say when this was released, I was honestly a little bit disappointed. I was looking for a little bit more originality because it was just a straight copy of the 1984 shirt with a little bit more added on. You know, we have the flag collar here. Um, white collars back then were the rage for France. I honestly think a blue collar like on the 2000 shirt fits better, but I like the sleeve cuffs is French flag here, French flag. That I like. It's a little bit over designed. I have to have say, so, you know, you have the piping here, not a French flag. So maybe that's the one thing. It's very much off the period, but it's an iconic shirt. Uh, it's the one that they won the World Cup. It was the missing piece kind of in my collection. I thought, yeah, if I have those, I think I'm fine. Unless I get some other nice ones. And I would argue a pretty darn fine collection with a bunch of shirts that were at least making it to a final. A really nice looking one from a dirt period. But other than that, I think I would have been just fine. So the next three that I'm going to show you are pure desire of wanting to have a nice shirt. And each one of them have their own, um, how, how do I say, have their own reason to be in the collection, although it was not necessary, it was not really necessary. I mean, of course I was going to get the one for uh, from the Euros in uh, 21, because I really like that shirt. And to me, if I look at it here with all the others, I mean, it's a combination of those three tournament wearing shirts. And it was one of my, if not the favorite shirt when it was released, uh, because it, it combines everything so nicely. And most importantly, Nike finally put the red back on the French national team shirt. And to top it off, I got it for only five euros because I, you know, it was kind of when I reached a work milestone, they gave me some uh, coupons for the local mall and I used those and then I had to pay only five euros to get this shirt. I'm gonna get the patch here uh, for the World Cup winners. I have it all already, I just didn't get, get, get around yet to apply it, but this will go on there as well. And, you know, I may think about some patches as well. In addition, I actually saw France wearing this one when they played Austria uh, last year. So another memory added to that one. I think it's a really, really fine, beautiful shirt. I'm very pleased to have that one. However, it has to be said, there was one shirt that I wanted more than this uh, jersey, which was I wanted to have an away jersey with the new rooster crest. And then Black Friday in 22, still had the weapon it version. No brainer, costs around 50, I wanna say. Uh, it's very simple, but I actually like that one, especially since there's only the French flag here on, on the side. Uh, it's a really, really fine jer uh, jer jersey. And here you see also the weapon it rooster, which also has this stitching which is actually quite, quite nice. I mean, they uh, for the 22 uh, World, World Cup, it was, well, was a little bit different. Uh, I, I, I was quite pleased to have exactly uh, this one, uh, to see the vapor knit up close. This was my first vapor knit shirt. I had seen one, one before. And it's, it's really interesting once you see, see it up close. It's also cool that this is a plain jer jersey. So the vapor knit pattern does not get, get in the way of anything. So uh, that was another part that I really liked about this one. And yes, I'm gonna get the patch. I have the Nations League patches for this one as well because France won the Nations League in this one. So I have another tournament winning shirt for France. There's a trend, definitely. And that leaves us with one last one for now. And it's a jersey that when I saw, heard about the first leaks. Man, that's boring. Man, that's, I'm not excited about the weather. And then I saw it in match. Won for the first time against Austria. This beautiful, wonderful 22 shirt. It is so simple, yet it works. I still would argue that 2014 with the white collar looks just a smidgen better. But the navy with the gold just works like a charm. I really like the golden thread on this one. It's so nice. It's really so nice. The way this is done, I, I can look at this 
just at the detailing on, on the roof, I can look at it for ages. I literally can st watch and stare. Uh, it is so minimalistic. We have this oak leaf pattern within the collar, which is really nice. We also have it on the sleeve cuffs, uh, where there's, of course, also another French flag. And while I really don't like this template from Nike, I'm really tired of it. If it's a plain jersey, I don't mind it at all because it doesn't get in the way of the jersey. Of course, you see a number here. I was always about to get this with a uh, name set and with Giroud be being a Milan player and breaking the most goals scored for the French na national team. It was always gonna be him. Most would go for Mbappé. I was about to go for Giroud. I honestly, I ordered Giroud. This was my Christmas present from my wife. I did get Giroud and I really like it. I have to say, when I just look at the number, Theo Hernandez is 22, looked even better. But you know, I'm very pleased to have Giroud uh, on there. Of course, I'm gonna get the patch. I will even get the World Cup patches right. on there. If I can find it, the match detailing for the England game would be really, really nice because uh, Giroud won that one, although France probably had no business winning that one. But hey, so be it. Uh, so here you go, my entire France jersey collection. I'm actually quite pleased with that one. There's some really, really nice shirts in there. Now, of course, there is the question, uh, do I want to have any other France jerseys? Yes, I already told you, the 2014 one would be one that I would be really, really keen on getting. I also would like to have the red one from 2008 uh, for the simple reason, you know, Euro 2008 jerseys, although it was not worn there. A kind of a guilty pleasure of mine because it was a tournament played in Austria, though France did not play in Austria. But uh, it's a different shirt. Um, I think there was also a light blue one by Nike that I actually enjoyed quite some. That I could also imagine wanting to add to my collection. Other than that, I cannot really think now of any other France jerseys that I really, really would like. I think if I look at it, I have here a world two world cup winning shirts i have here a euro winning shirt i have one shirt played in the world cup final i have another shirt played in the world cup final i have a shirt that won the nations league the only thing that's really missing is the jersey from 2016 where they went to the final and maybe if i see it for a, a rather reasonable price 20 or less i might go for that one as well just to add a little bit more as i said france jerseys for me a guilty pleasure because look at them i love blue jerseys and especially now with the navy although i like my french team in royal blue a whole lot the navy look is really cool and since the french national team uh, the french national flag not national team flag the french national flag actually switched now over to have a bleu marine the navy jerseys actually make a whole lot more sense i would go so far that for me the french national team outfit in blue shorts white pants red socks top three in the world for me potentially the best so yeah to all my french subscribers happy bastille day i hope you enjoyed this little video on my entire french national team collection give me a thumbs up if you did so and I will talk to you soon with about more videos from my collection. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!